Hello, welcome, welcome back. It's Sarah from Roadworthy. I am here to discuss April rooting plans. We have two readathons going on that I'd like to participate in, and that I have books on my shelf that fit these readathons. So, first, we have People April. Um, hosted by Elizabeth and Roz, and I will link their channels down below. So, For People, April is all about um, memoirs, biographies, letters, you know, books written by people, <laughs> about people. <laughs> um, so, I've got three books on my shelves that fit. I have Chanel Miller's Know My Name. I don't know how I've never read this book. You can see this is one of the books of the library. They have like all these collections of paperbacks where you can grab them and just return them when you're done. I always look at these shelves and I grab these books and then I never read the books. So I think I've had this, I don't know, on my shelf for a solid year, year and a half. And I have so many of these. <laughs> I probably have 20 books on my shelves that are really property of the Seattle Public Library. <laughs> anyway, I'm finally going to get to Chanel Miller's memoir. Tracking the Caribou Queen by Margaret McPherson. Um, this, I saw a um, interview um, that Sean the Book Maniac did with Margaret about this book. Um, and this is her memoir about growing up in Yellowknife as a, as a you know, settler uh, white woman. And sort of finally recognizing the inherent racism in Yellowknife and coming to terms with her own internalized um, biases. Um, and that just sounded really interesting to me. Um, and, and their conversation is delightful. So I, I, I ran out and ordered this book. And I, I'm finally going to get to it. Gods of the Upper Air. Now, I don't know that this really fits, but I'm making it fit. So this is a non-fiction book. Um, the subtitle is How a Circle of Renegade Anthropologists Reinvented Race, Sex, and Gender in the 20th Century. So I think a non-fiction book about anthropologists who study people and culture, I think that fits. I'm making it fit, whatever. Um, this is about Franz Boas and some of his students, Margaret Mead, Ruth Benedict, Ella Deloria, and Zora Neale Hurston. So I think that could be super interesting. And so that's what I got for people April. I did see a quick thing from Kevy at Say Kevy that Trans Girl April is happening, although I haven't seen a lot of buzz about it. So I'm not, I don't know, maybe, I, I don't know. Anyway, um, I want to read Trash. Uh, Sylvia Aguilar Zeleni, translated by J.D. Plucker. Anyway, this sounded interesting to me. So, this is her English language debut, shows the complexities of survival and joy, love and violence for three women. A teenager abandoned by her guardian at the dump, a scientist doing research on the residents of the dump, 
and a trans woman living nearby who is the matriarch of a group of sex workers. Each one of these characters navigates family, abandonment, power, jealousy, greed, and multiple taboos around sexuality and gender violence. Their stories are linked by geography and by ideas of waste and abandonment. Thought that sounded good. So those are the four books that I would definitely like to get to in the month of April. And I'm sure I'll be sprinkling other random things in, but these are the, the four books off of my shelf that I would like to get to this month. All right. Um, I hope you all, I, I'm curious to start seeing, I haven't seen too many um, videos of what people are reading for People April or Trans Girl April. Um, so, I'm I'm hope I'm excited to watch those and see see what people have going on. All right. Thanks for watching.